Suzume's ending features time travel and ancient gods but it's not as complex as that of your name, while still stirring viewers' feelings. Like the other movies by Makoto Shinkai, Suzume has a complex ending that encapsulates all the themes presented in the story and delivers the powerful message behind it. While the ending of Suzume may seem a bit cryptic at first view, it's actually easy to interpret once the movie is put in perspective through the author's previous works. Suzume is the latest movie by modern anime maestro Makoto Shinkai, who rose to prominence for your name and weathering with you. It's the coming-of-age story for the 17-year-old protagonist, Suzume, set in various disaster-stricken locations across Japan, where she must close the doors causing devastation, and today we're here to discuss and analyze the ending of Suzume and to understand it completely, so let's start today's video. So first of all let's recall that what exactly happened in the end. So as Suzume refuses to abandon the soda she has grown to love to his fate, and with the help of Tamaki and Soda's friend, Sarazawa, she travels to her hometown in the ruins of the house she lived with her mother. Soda is trapped in the Ever After, which is essentially the realm of souls where the mysterious doors lead to, and the only door that Suzume can travel through as a living person is the one that she crossed as a kid, when she got lost while desperately looking for her mother. In the Ever After, Daijin has a change of heart and decides to help Suzume in freeing Soda. However, the worm is raging and trying to escape to the world of the living, where he will cause massive destruction. Daijin turns back into the keystone and, together with his twin deity, Sedajin, they let Suzume and Soda use them to seal the worm in the Ever After again. After that, Suzume sees her younger self wandering into the spirit realm, and goes to comfort her, giving Kit Suzume the chair that her mother had built for her before dying, and reassuring her that she will grow up and meet many people who will love her and make her happy. Then, Suzume and Soda return to their world and their lives. To understand the actual meaning of Suzume's ending is important to keep in mind that, like in all the works of Makoto Shinkai, the characters and the story are a vehicle to convey a message to the audience. According to an interview Shinkai did for the Berlin Film Festival, the great earthquake of 2011 changed his life radically. He realized that he could no longer create entertainment for the sake of it, but his mission had to be to use his art to share that traumatic experience with the world, and perhaps find some meaning in it. This is where Suzume comes from, and what inspired Makoto Shinkai's previous movies too. In the movie, the worm represents the destructive power of nature, which lays dormant until it's unleashed on the world. The doors open in abandoned places because, according to Soda, the weight of people's feelings is what quells the land. Through Suzume's journey, the movie shows the natural beauty of Japan, but also the tragedies that natural disasters leave behind. The only thing that people can do when faced with them is accept their role as part of something larger and move on, looking at the future with hope. The doors that Suzume and Soda close literally connect the past to the present and the future, thus the gesture of closing them is a metaphor for coming to terms with the past, no matter how tragic it is. Time is also an important element of Makoto Shinkai's works that returns in Suzume's ending. When she wandered through the door as a kid, Suzume met someone who she believed was her mother, even if the memory faded with time. However, the finale reveals that the person was actually grown up Suzume herself, something that was possible because, as explained by Soda earlier in the movie, in the ever after all time exists simultaneously. So it means that it is a time loop, and it will happen again and again. The young Suzume will grow and one day again she'll find Soda and all the events will happen again, just like it has happened before, hence, a time loop. Although meeting one's future self is somewhat of an overused cliché, but it worked better than usual in this specific case. So ultimately, Suzume is a movie about the power of memories and feelings to connect people, exemplified by the fact that, to close a door, Suzume and Soda have to think about the people who lived in that place and their feelings. The ending of Suzume may not be as shocking as that of your name, or sad as that of weathering with you, but it's really effective in transmitting the message that Makoto Shinkai strived to communicate to his audiences.